Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to this, the sixth uh, Velux Daylight Symposium. The theme of the symposium is daylight as a driver of change. Because uh, daylight seems to be the answer of all the issues that we are discussing today regarding energy use and how we can have a better and more healthy life uh, in the cities and also a healthy life indoor. So the intention of this symposium is really to bring back the nature, bring back the sun into people's lives. I think the relationship between daylight and architecture is, is so completely overlapped, it's impossible to separate them out. Um, you, whether it's conscious or subconscious thought, daylight is always a fundamental part of any development and evolution of any project. In terms of light and performance, we know that there's a direct connection between the eye and various centres in the brain that drive different aspects of performance. And we know that light can affect the way that we cognitively perform, so how we perform certain memory tasks or how we operate in our office, but it can also affect our physical performance. So there's a lot of studies looking at athletes and how light can actually boost their performance on the track or on the field. It's been uh, great fun. and uh, me old people, people I used to know again, uh, and lots of new people. And the students I met yesterday at the academic forum were actually really, really good. I was so impressed. By comparison to my own presentation, <laughs> they put me to shame. So, um, no, it's, it's a really nice environment to bring researchers, students, academics, practitioners together. And it's, it's, I think it is unique. Today there is uh several academic studies that show the positive effects of daylight on uh, students' well-being and uh, performance in schools. Yeah, daylight in architecture is, is something essential, I would say, not only about uh, the form, gestalt thing, but also tightly related with the energy consumption. If we can use daylight more and more, we can save more and more energy. We, as a species, were gifted with the ability of sight because of the light, because of our ability to use the light, primarily the light in the sky dome. We have to stand up and say daylight is important and it should be something that's discussed and, and something that's of benefit to humans. It has been a really wonderful day with a lot of new input. Uh, what I think is really important now is that we get that information uh, out from that space and into architectural practice, um, give some guidance and some rules of thumb that can make it easier to make quick decisions uh, in the design process. Daylight is uh, in the DNA of the Velux Group. It has been so ever since the start in 1941. I think it was in 1945 that our founder, Mr. Willem Ken Rasmussen, wrote in a sales note to his customers, we are daylight engineers, and we have been so ever since. Uh, therefore, it's only natural that 10 years ago we started the daylight symposiums, uh, and uh, look what has become of it.